to protecting the parade. Every year, it's a massive security operation. This year, the NYPD is taking it to a new level following ISIS calling the parade an excellent target. CBS 2's Janelle Burrell, live on the Upper West Side with more. Janelle? That's right, Chris. We are at Central Park West and West 77th, where it all kicks off here tomorrow morning. More than 3 million people expected to be in attendance. And while police say there are no credible threats, they say they are prepared. An enormous NYPD operation underway right now with barricades and concrete blocks set up along the two and a half mile parade route where more than 3,000 officers will be on patrol. There's no specific or credible threat against the parade, but there is some rhetoric uh, that uh, we've been watching. NYPD Commissioner James O'Neill referring to a recent article in an ISIS magazine naming the annual parade as an excellent target. This year, the department will be blocking access to the cross streets along the parade route as a precaution and strategically placing large vehicles as an added protection barrier. We have 83 sand trucks and 114 blocker vehicles that we're using to cut off the, uh, the cross town traffic. So no vehicles besides, of course, the vehicles in the parade will be allowed on the route. For the more than 3 million locals and tourists expected to come out. It's comforting to see so many police about. And yeah. Makes you feel a lot safer, I think. We've been seeing so many police around yeah. that I think this is the safest place ever, today yeah. or tomorrow, to be honest. Arrow and his dad looking forward to the festivities, putting their confidence in police. We're going to have security on top of security on top of security. And if anybody can get through, I doubt it. And at our location this afternoon along Central Park West, we are already starting to see some street closures go into effect. More coming this afternoon and, of course, tomorrow morning. So if you are driving, this is certainly an area that you'll want to avoid. Reporting live this afternoon from the Upper West Side, Janelle Burrell, CBS 2 News. Janelle, thank you.